Hello, good morning. This is Planners Place YouTube channel where we share tips and tricks in Microsoft Project and Primavera P6. Today we're going to look at how to display dates in month and year format in Microsoft Project. That's the MMM-YY date format. I recently did a video on how to display dates in this format in Primavera P6 and someone asked if it's possible to, to do the same in Microsoft Project. And yeah, it's possible. So the date format we're talking about is instead of showing the day, month, year, you only show the month and year. And this is normally used for high level schedules where senior management um, want to present schedule information, but don't want to commit to exact date or in, in bid proposals whereby you just want to give a rough indication, just an indicative date without pinning yourself to to exact date. So you show like December 21 or March 22. So assuming we got this schedule and we want to display dates in, just show the start month, finish month so that the date is shown in the month year format no information about the date. We also want to have the duration and we don't also, we don't want to show a Gantt chart because um, as you know, people might be able to de decipher dates from within a Gantt chart. And also we could easily hide all this milestone date information, but um, that's a way. And so if I go to print preview, what we want to do is issue a schedule, but hide this part no bar charts, hide the duration, so that we just have the task name, percent complete, start month and finish month. So if I come back to do that, luckily Microsoft Project has got a view that hides the Gantt chart. So if you go to task sheet, so under your task, in your ribbon, click on task tab, and under select view, yeah, select view so from the Gantt chart, you just pick tax sheet. And this is your task sheet. As you can see, there's no Gantt chart. So I can change this to 90%. Yeah, so everything appears in one page. So what we want to do is just the task name, start month, finish month, percent complete, height, the duration. So to start, the first thing we'll do is um, add, uh, the first thing to do is we save, we save a copy of this. This is a, this is a default task sheet inbuilt. So I go more views, take a copy. So I'll call this one MMM. Yeah, yeah, format. So we need to change the table that this view uses, but we'll come to that later. Let me see. So we've got a new view. Click apply. Check that it's in use. Yep. This is the view that we're now using. So in this view, what I need to do is because what I'm I'm going to use custom field to extract the date, so I need to change this date format to one the one that's closest to what we need. If I go to view tables, more tables, I take a copy of this entry table. Since it's going to be saved with our view, so I say one mmm. Yeah, yeah. The date formats for Microsoft Project allows you to assign date formats to each view. So for this view, you can change the date format here on the date format. So I go, I'll look for the date format that's closest to what we want. Unfortunately, the month, month, year date format is not built into Microsoft Project. It's not one of the options to pick from. So select this date format as the closest to what we want so i click okay apply yeah it's the closest to confirm that this new table that we created is 
attached to our view if I go back if I go to task you can chat see our view is still selected click on more view edit you notice the new table is assigned to to our to our view click OK close this so what I need now I need two two columns so at the first one I'll go with text um, I'll go with text 29 because um, you might have text one the common text fields in use so add another text field text 30 go to format in newer versions of Microsoft project it will say Gantt chart format so, so click format um, select text with 29 and click on custom field it opens the custom field dialog I uh, remain we name this to start month that's text with 29 we name text with 30 to finish month now if you go to our start month we need formulas to to get the date format we want so the formula we use if you notice um the date field the start and finish fields they got the date format we've chosen you can count the number of characters so it's you count from your left one zero is one two or let's do it eleven so this is one two the space is three it's counted as a character two because this is a date when you convert this date because i'm using text field it means the dates if i use the dates in the formula they'll be converted to text and when you convert the space in a date to text what microsoft project does it replaces it with a with a dash and also it's same with the dash and the apostrophe with the space and apostrophe they also become dash in microsoft project um, we can confirm this let's use um, text function text left so if we say our string this time we go it's um it's the start date start let's just take the first three characters so that you see what happens to the space if i do three yeah it's saying it will raise the data in the field say okay So you can see 9th August, 9th, 9th, 0, 09 dash, 0, 09 space. The first three characters change to 0, 09 dash. We can maybe show for six characters. See, first of January is shown as 0 dash, 0, 01 dash Jan. So to show you that this space and apostrophe are represented by a single dash we increase it so this will be seven eight nine if i do nine so you see so the space is presented by dash when converted to text field and the apostrophe and space combined as they become a single dash so you might be tempted to say if we can use the left function to get the left side of a date why don't we just use the right function to get so if you count from the right it's one two three four five six to get the first six characters counting from the right um, there's a problem with that, but let me demonstrate it before we do that. So if I go function text right start and we want the first six characters if you count from the right. So if you go six, you see. It's played zero zero zero. This looks like a time. So what's happening when dates are saved in? I saved in Microsoft Project File. 
it's saved is a full part of a date. The full length of a date is what's saved. So you've got your, if you start from the left, you've got your day, your month, your year, you've got your hour, your minute, and then your second. That's what is saved. That's the full length. And if you start counting from the right, it starts with the second part, your column, the minute part, your column, your hour part, the column, before it comes to year, month, and day. So that's the problem which counting from the right, even though what's displayed is just the first, the date part, what's saved in the file includes the time part. So that's why your task calendar is quite important. So since we can't um, use the right function and the left function, we also can use it. Let's check if Microsoft Project has a function that will extract from the mid from within, we extract text from within a text. So that's like um, a substring. Luckily they do, and it's called mid. So what this mid does is, if you give it a string, the subtext, the substring that you want, in our case is text with date, start. Remember what I said, because we're using text field, any date you add to a text field becomes a text. It's converted automatically. We start because we're extracting the middle part. So we want from the from the fourth character. So if you look at our dates here, zero, one, the space, those are three characters. So the month, the first character of the month starts is the fourth character of this field, this start field. So the start position of the beginning of, it's the fourth character. So we say fourth, four, the length will be, six because we're counting the month which is three the space and apostrophe we count as one that makes it four the year to bring it to be four plus two six so the length our length is six so we've got this our formula we we'll click ok as you can see the start month appears in the date format that we want we go to the finish month, the same formula, but this time we use the string will be finish date. Again, we start at the fourth character and the length is six. Because it's the first time we're using this custom field, it's saying it's going to erase data within it. We say yeah, click OK. So we've got the date format that we want, but you notice that the summary rules are empty. So we go back, format, custom field. For this, for the summary to have data, once you come to custom field interface, you look for here, it says calculation for task and group summary rules. You click use formula. You also do the same for the finish month, use formula, click okay, and they're populated. The good thing about um, using custom field is custom field is they're updated automatically. Unlike Primavera P6, where you have to apply global change for things like this to happen. Here, it's once you update a field, it's the custom fields are updated automatically if they use a formula. So now that we have our start and finish month, we no longer need our start and finish date fields. We can hide them. You hide them. Hide column. We also want to hide our duration field. We hide it because we do. And so. And that's it. So you can issue this schedule or give it to senior management if they're only interested in the month and year. Uh, and you have your, you can PDF this, send it out to the client if it's for a bid. So you can roll up your schedule to just show pretty high level information. So that's your 
your your schedule your view a view with just the month and year and anytime you want to issue this you just come to this view and pdf it now like i said previously if you update the fields this view will also be updated automatically so if you look at row 15 starts in march ends in may so if we go to our gantt chart to normal to the main default gantt chart row 15 starts in march ends in may if we reduce this to say 20 days it now ends finishes on the 1st of april if we go back to our um, date format view so if you click on gantt chart select that view look at row 15 you see it's automatically updated from march from may to april and all other linked activities are also updated so so yeah that's it for today take care and catch you some other time god bless mm -hmm.